Hello there, it's Simone. I'm so glad you're here for a junk journaling session. I have been just going through the things in my ephemera box and trying to use them. Um, this is how that Simone or Simone um, label ended up in the front of my writing journal when I still used the um, Midori Traveler's Notebook. It's not Midori anymore. That's been a long time ago when I still used the um, Traveler's Company lined uh, standard insert as my writing journal. Um, I filmed this several months ago. Um, you can see I I put all the things that I wanted to include in my junk journal into my Galen A5 zip cover. Um, I've since moved from that cover over to, well, actually, I still use that cover. I use it for my social media um, planner, content planner, that's what I call it. Uh, sounds way more sophisticated. Um, and I have actually put the junk journal aside because I just felt not overwhelmed, but I have been content with all the journals that I'm using and didn't really get around to this junk journal at that time. Uh, still haven't picked it up since the last time, which was uh, several, as I said, several months ago. And um, decided that whenever the time comes for me to continue in this junk journal, then I will pick it up and just put stuff in there. Um, there are several ephemera pieces that I still want to add to something. So I have thought of just allotting time for this because if I don't, then it will not happen. Uh, and putting just sticking those things into that journal. I, We have had this printer for about three years and this is the very first time that I used this photo paper that was included in the printer as a sample pack and it worked so much easier and it went so well. Um, but I've always been super afraid and I've always used my um, Canon selfie that I have had for years um, that I still have paper for. Maybe I ran out of paper and then I decided I'm not going to buy paper before I've used up all the paper that is here. Not really sure. And I tried two different settings and just uh, tried to find out how it looks. And I have to say, um, the photo quality is really nice. So I have printed those six plus six is 12 photos and I want to stick them in. To be honest, I haven't done, I haven't stuck all 12 of them in just yet because I had the expectation that I would write into this journal where I stuck in random ephemera. And sometimes I just don't really have anything to say about the ephemera. And sometimes I just don't have the brain space to write something that makes any sense. Sometimes my only goal is to, how do I say this? Stick in things that look nice together without any kind of sense behind it but that um, and I I think the problem I had with this journal was for the longest time was that I wanted it to be something that it wasn't I wanted it to be sophisticated writing about random shit and that just doesn't happen and um, I since I put it away and I, some things I just can't throw away and they are basically trash in other people's eyes, but not necessarily in mine. Um, but what, what do I do with those? I stick them into my junk journals, but I haven't because again, I want to write sophisticated stuff about shit. So, um, 
I think I have finally come to the conclusion that I don't have to have writing in this journal. I can allow myself to make this pretty, to decorate it, to use random stickers, washi tapes, everything that I collect that I would like to keep um, and put it in there. Uh, arrange it nicely, make the page look cohesive and move on. Um, that's where I'm at with my my thought process at the moment. And I, I went through a reorganization process just recently and I made a little box where I put all that stuff that I wasn't ready to let go, uh, that I wanted to keep into that box. And it's not super full, but there is stuff in there that I think I am ready to just plop into this notebook. And then when it's done, I'll move on to the next. Maybe I make another junk journal. I think I the, the last journal that I, I made, I sometimes recover pages from the back of journals that I don't finish in quotation marks um, to be able to use that paper. And so I made a little MD notebook out of those pages from an MD notebook um, and just move on and, and put stuff in there. Uh, and that's that feels like the thing that I could do. Um, it took me a while. I needed to take a rest and a step back from this journal. But I think I'm finally there. I don't know if I'm there yet to actually schedule time to do that. But I'm pretty close. That's that's a thing, right? Um so how are you doing? How is your journaling going? I, I seem to be ever evolving. Um, currently, I really enjoy writing in my long form journal, which is uh, a Tomoe River paper insert where I use my fountain pens. I love to um, change my fountain pen or the pen that I write in there daily so that I see how long an entry is and the, the colors that work well together nicely. That brings me a lot of joy. Um, it helps me process my day. I'm not someone who does morning journaling. <laughs> I'm usually at work in the morning. Um, and I definitely don't get up earlier than I have to when I am working in the morning. And I, I just, whenever I feel like it, I sit down. I don't it's my morning pages in the evening so what um and then i i write there i i work in my weekly journal that i had a lot of trouble keeping up recently that's also a struggle because i am of the a firm believer that what i do in my free time and especially as a hobby is not supposed to feel stressful. And whenever it starts to feel stressful, I need to question why it, why that happens. Do I have expectations f at myself that I cannot uphold? Um, why do I have those expectations? Why can I not um, meet those expectations? Is it that I don't give myself enough time? Is it that I just don't have enough time and I'm way in over my head with what I have committed to? Uh, even if I want to uh, do all the things um, realistically, I talked about that in my other um, junk journal video. There is just 24 hours in each day. There is just seven day in a week and we have other responsibilities and we need the hobbies work for us and not us work for the hobbies. And so um, I, when I realize that I want to make more art, when I realize that I want to do all of those other things that are not journaling, that are not using all of those notebooks, um, I needed to rethink, reevaluate, is all of this working? Can I keep up with all of those things? when I'm adding more? Uh, probably not. And so 
for two for in September I was just in way over my head I think I know now why that happened um that I just couldn't keep up with my weekly journal um and so I I needed to change things because I do really value that weekly journal I really enjoy the time that I spent in there um and so I needed to make room for that again and I did I am back in there I am making an effort to be in there multiple times a week and I'm also making an effort to just be okay with when that didn't happen and I have blank pages to let those blank pages speak for themselves. Uh, I'm giving myself the option to go back there for sure. Yes, uh, but I'm not but I'm not making myself feel guilty for not having those pages filled in because I did something else during the time that I had thought I had planned to journal. But then something came up. I think one day my son came to me on a Friday and told me that he is changing his clothing style and that he needed to go shopping because he needed this, this and that. It was not, we didn't like go out and bought a full whole new closet, but he, he needed some long pants because, you know, my kids are giants. Um he didn't have any long pants because for the longest times he wore shorts uh, so he he said uh, he thought he's ready for long pants now um, and then he uh, he needed a hoodie he wanted a um, a shirt and there was my Sunday afternoon that I had allotted for journaling because the child was more important and yes of course it is I think this is the sign that the video is done. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more journaling videos, there's one up here. Um, yeah, leave a comment. How are you doing today? And all the other days <laughs> that we haven't seen each other. Oh my gosh, I cannot finish a video anymore. Goodbye.